You sort of all of the above data warehouse, big yeah. data infrastructure. Did, you, did you see the slide that the guy from JP Morgan threw up yesterday? Yeah. And, and he sort of said, this is the big source of debate. I thought it was a very interesting discussion. Um, and of course, the messaging that you hear from Cloudera is, no, it's incremental, that we're not you know, competing with, with tr tr yeah. transactional systems. Do you see that, what do you see that, if you take that, and this, I think it's a relevant discussion that he brought up yesterday because it, it is very unclear. What's your telescope say in terms of, you know, how this new big data Hadoop is going to affect kind of the existing data warehouse? Is it going to encroach on it? Is it going to be all incremental and just overwhelm it in size? And what, yeah. what, what's your take on that? So I think two things. First of all, technology keeps changing. And, if, and I've been in the industry a long time, and if we don't, all don't keep in front of that and understand that everything's going to change and kind of get stuck with one thing and think it's going to solve problems forever, we're going to fall behind and somebody else is going to come out there and compete and win. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is I really view it as an ecosystem. Um, I you know, really believe in the, the open source model, the open interface model, and, and that each one of these components, and I look at, you know, our, our, we have a 100 um, terabyte data warehouse in Teradata. And that's a vital part of our ecosystem because we're a 60,000 person company. I can't go around and tell everybody, you all have to learn MapReduce now. It's yeah. just not going to work. <laughs> so all those folks that are using views and Teradata are going to continue to use the views and Teradata. And so what we do is we basically now, instead of feeding some of the things that were getting way too big for that system and are a little too unstructured, we feed them all in through Hadoop do analysis and aggregation there, push the aggregates out to Teradata so that whole large set of analysts can continue to do their job the way they always did. So that's one example, but I view um, you know, this whole industry is all about pieces fitting together to solve problems, and at different points in time, different vendors and different communities are going to invent something that's going to help, and it's going to you know, eclipse something that already exists, but you got to move on and, and 